Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. On this episode, we are making lobster mushroom bisque out of lobster mushrooms that we forage out of the forest. But before we get started on that, if you love outdoor adventures and cooking, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell so you can be notified when up and coming videos come. It's going to be a lot of great things this season between fishing, hunting, and cooking the amazing things that we find in the outdoors. And also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page where I post lots of photos, behind the scenes things, and giveaways periodically as well. So don't miss out on that. So now we went to the woods, we found these amazing lobster mushrooms. I made a joke that we've got lobster bisque for dinner tonight. And then I started wondering, I bet you there's a great recipe out there for lobster mushroom bisque. What's really wonderful about lobster mushrooms is once you pick them, pick them, and you can kind of smell them, they have a little bit of that like, kind of seafoody smell to them and they kind of taste like lobster. When you soak the lobster mushroom, they even turn this kind of like bright reddish white, kind of reminiscent of a lobster. So I hope you enjoy and are ready for lobster mushroom bisque. All right, let's get started. Start with some freshly picked lobster mushrooms. Add bay leaves, butter, garlic, heavy cream, chardonnay, olive oil, Tabasco, carrots, thyme, parsley, tomato paste or sauce, onion, shallots, add some celery, and the full recipe will be in the description of this video. I'm a pretty big fan of using my food processor, especially if you're dicing up a whole bunch of vegetables. Uh, so you can dice them up by hand, or if you have a food processor, great, throw everything in the food processor and buzz it up a little bit. So I just threw in my carrots and celery, I whirled that around a little bit, and then I added in my onions, I whirled that around a little bit more, and just got them into small pieces. The idea is that at the end we're going to puree the soup, so the smaller the better. Um, but you're going to cook them and soften them anyways, so it's not oh that big of a deal. And these would be some onion tears. Now we take our lobster mushrooms and we cut them up into thin slices. It's so incredible that they actually kind of have a consistency, a smell, and a color that are actually a lot like lobsters. So now it's time to cook down the mushrooms and the butter and the oil. So I'm gonna get the butter melting and that's three tablespoons of butter and a good drizzle of oil. For now, the vegetables are gonna stay aside and we're gonna add the mushrooms and cook them almost all the way down until they're a little bit browned. I'm gonna add all of my chopped up lobster mushrooms. We're cooking the lobster mushrooms up until almost all of the moisture is out of them and they start to brown. What's really amazing about the lobster mushrooms is once I started cooking them, they very much give off that aroma just like if you were cooking a lobster or if you were cooking a crab. It's amazing how similar they are. Okay, now it's time to add our vegetables. else I'm gonna do is press in the three cloves of garlic and like garlic press you can do it chopped or however makes sense to you so I'm just swooping in and stirring up the vegetables and the lobster mushrooms and making sure that they all cook down nice and evenly but about 15 minutes is about how long this one's gonna go. All right, so now that the vegetables have cooked down a little bit, I'm going to go through a few of the next steps. So, the next step is add a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. So now, what you might be experiencing and what I'm experiencing is that there's a little bit of vegetable and mushroom kind of crisped up a little bit along the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to deglaze the bottom of the pan using a little bit of vodka, about a quarter cup. 
cup or less. Have a little bit of stuff cooked up on the bottom. Just gonna give that a good dousing. It's gonna bring up all of those good bits. And it gives a nice flavor to your soup as well. Now we add about six cups of broth. You can use chicken broth, vegetable broth. Today I'm gonna to use up some, bread, some beef broth that I had already opened the other day. And then I'm also going to add in a few cups of bone broth. Also add in your Chardonnay, about two cups. Finally, we're gonna add three bay leaves if dry, two if fresh, and six sprigs of thyme. Now, adding these, you don't want to pull them apart because we're going to go ahead and remove them later on. So I'm just gonna throw them in, a good bunch of them, about six, maybe there's eight here, with the intention on pulling them back out later. Then I'm gonna throw a lid on it and let it simmer for about one hour. That way the vegetables will completely soften as will the mushrooms. One thing that I thought was really interesting about the lobster mushroom is that it's actually not even a mushroom at all. It's a parasitic ascomycet fungus that actually grows on other mushrooms. So it's kind of a fungus, a parasitic fungus, but not a mushroom, but kind of like a mushroom, but it's not a mushroom but it's still a lobster mushroom bisque, okay? <laughs> okay, so now that this has been simmering for the last hour, from this point, I take out the bay leaves and the thyme. I'm going to add the soup into my food processor, and then I'm going to puree it and then add it back into the soup pot. So now I'm just taking the sprigs of thyme and the bay leaves out. So now that I've pureed the soup, I'm gonna add it back into my pot. I'm going to add about one teaspoon of Tabasco. I opted for Chipotle Tabasco. And then I'm gonna add one cup of heavy cream. So I noticed that the soup was a little bit on the thinner side than I would like it. So I ended up putting a little bit of cornstarch and cold water together. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to my soup, just to thicken it up. All right, now that it's heated up and is simmering, it's time to dish it up and add a little bit of parsley to it. That tastes like lobster bisque. That is amazing. Wow. You shouldn't taste this. Nailed it. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's really good. The lobster mushroom bisque is done. I've garnished it with a little bit of parsley and added a little bit of garlic bread uh, to have on the side, but it's finally time to taste it. is so good it is so good and it actually tastes a lot like lobster bisque it even has the aroma like lobster bisque it is incredible how this is so similar to an actual lobster tasting dish mm. Creating this as a puree is absolutely the right way to go I certainly recommend that after you saute your vegetables that you 
take the time to puree all of it. It's creamy, it's lobstery, it's a little bit oniony. Adding a little bit of that bacon grease definitely comes through as well. I highly recommend lobster mushroom bisque. Mmm, it's so good. And some lobster bisque. It could be pretty good. Perhaps just a little taste. Just a little taste. You think so too? Yeah, not bad, is it? I know. No, this is my bisque. Mmm, that is so good. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of making lobster mushroom bisque. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I invite you again to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter where you can see behind the scenes, great photos of what we did today and the upcoming giveaways too. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.